Welcome back everybody to another unboxing on my channel to and today we're going to be unboxing $300 worth of Rubik's Cubes. As you can see, this box is huge. It is a it is big. So we're going to unbox it right now and we'll see what's inside. Let's open this thing. Okay, uh, I don't want to... <laughs> there's so many cubes in here and as you can see, I can just flip it. There's random papers, but as you can see, there is so many cubes in here and I am not going to look at every single one for a long time. I'm just going to show it to the camera and put it in this basket right here. So, yeah. <laughs> oh crap, this is so amazing. Okay. Okay, but first, before the unboxing starts, I just want to uh, tell how where did I buy this box, and I bought it from eBay from a guy called Jacobs Unavs, and yeah, he basically sold his entire collection of Rubik's cubes to me for three hundred dollars. So yeah. Okay, so the first cube that I see here is a V cube, and it is an Earth V cube, and it's scrambled. Okay. <laughs> This is the first cube, and okay. Okay, the next cube right here is a windmill cube. I think it's windmill cube. It looks like it from Moyu. Pretty cool, and yep, just a normal win windmill cube. Next up, we have the Diane. The, the Diane. The, um, I'm not sure how it's called. I think it's a four x four cube or something like that. Uh, it's really really weird. Next up we have this shiny little mirror cube and it's very shiny, <laughs> turns fairly nice and yeah also the, uh, uh, he told me that some of the cubes will not be uh, solved because he couldn't solve them. This is the Moyo 3x3 access cube and yeah that's that's cool. Okay, next up we have a 3x3 three three barrel, and it seems like that these two pieces are switched. I don't know why is that, but as you can see, it's a really cool looking cube. And... Okay, nice. Next up we have a transparent 3x3, three three, and it's also from OU, and I'm not really sure what is this 3x3. Three three. And it turns <laughs> not that good. It turns not that good, but it's a transparent 3x3, three three. that's cool. Next up we have 4x4 four four, and it has amazing corner cutting as you can see and the reverse is also pretty amazing uh, maybe half a mil half a degree <laughs> okay this 4x4 four four is pretty bad then here we have a cube it looks like it's a Shenksha cube oh that's cool I, I haven't learned how to solve the cube uh, but yeah, this is just a normal skew. Cool. Next up, we have a 3x3 three three picture cube. There is this one. There is this one. There is lily pads and water. There is... Yeah, the centers are kind of twisted. But it's a pretty cool cube. Okay. Next up, we have a V cube. And wow, it turns bad. It turns really bad. Uh, feels like it... That, it has been used for quite some time. Huh. Interesting. Secret sweet cube. Okay, next up we have the, the direct cube. And yeah, I have not. I don't know how to solve this one, but it looks cool. It's, it, as you can see, it turns like this. It's pretty interesting. Okay, there's only two more cubes in the top row. Of the box so this is a box with three little cubes this is the mini 3x3 three three. 
<laughs> oh, it, it turns so cool. Yeah, it turns fantastically, actually. Uh, then we have a mini one by one right here. Here's a little one by one, and it makes a little sound. That's cool. Uh, then there's a little two by two right here. Pretty cool. And also stickers. Uh, I don't know why he sent me these, but okay. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, then the last cube in this section uh, it's three by three by one. And <laughs> this is so cool. This is a three by three flop floppy cube. And I know you can do it like this and shape shift it like this and this and this. <laughs> Let's see what do we have next. As you can see, there is quite some more puzzles in here. And okay, so we're going to start with this Lego cube. <laughs> Let's take it out right here, right now. This is a 3x3x3 three by three by three Lego cube, and it looks like you can take these off and create a cooler puzzle. Yeah, you can take these off and create a cooler puzzle, because there is the... the the base. Uh, then we, here we have another random Rubik's 3x3 three three, and I think this is not the official Rubik's brand but it turns okay. <laughs> random 3x3. Three three. Uh, then here we have a concave 3x3 three three with the, um, the centers going into the middle a little bit and wow it feels so cool. <laughs> That's weird. And it likes to pop. Next up we have 3x3 Zanchi cube. And I saw a lot of people using this cube in the competition. But I think it pops a lot. Maybe if you... Maybe mine is too... Uh, maybe this cube is very loose so it pops. But we'll see. Okay, next up we have a Thunderclap V2. And it feels like it's been used a lot because it's not very fast at all. But you can, it can be a new speed cube or speed cube, and just a thunderclap we too. Okay, then here we have a stickerless cube. I'm not sure what is this cube, but turns normal. I guess if you would give this to a friend, then it would work. Okay, here we have a carbon fiber 3x3, three three, and if you can see, wait, as you can see, it's a stickerless cube uh, with black stickers on top of it, and that makes this really cool view. I don't know how to call it, but as you can see, the stickers are really, really cool. Uh, here we have a, s I don't know. Well, you can call this a void cube, but it isn't void. But <laughs> it, it is just like a void cube, as you can see. Here we have two by two by two, two by two V cube. Nothing, nothing special. Pretty bad, actually. Here we have. Oh, wow! This is a cube that could be made potential. <laughs> The guy said that uh, in the bottom of the box there is another box with the all WC WCA events cubes, and so I'm excited for that box. But this cube is actually really good. Okay, the last one of the second section in the box, I guess. And this cube looks really old, and you can. <laughs> It doesn't move! It moves... Oh my... This is so old. Squeaky sound. Okay, I don't like this cube. <laughs> it's very old. It looks like it's a Moyu Alang V2. Oh wow. Okay, it needs to be cleaned. Oh yeah, look at... Look inside. It is so dirty inside. And... <laughs> yeah. Needs a lube and is dirty inside. Okay, that wraps up the second layer of the cubes, and here we are. Uh, okay, let's start the last layer. Uh, here we have a pretty interesting cube. 
It's not a cube, it's a cylinder, I think. And as you can see, you move it like this and it, it gets mi mixed up. So that's cool. <laughs> Interesting cube. It's not a cube, although. Okay, uh, this looks like a 4x4 axis cube. Wow. Wow, okay. I'm re I really want to sell this one. Uh, and it turns out, well, I can see that he couldn't solve it because it's not solved. But, okay, it's pretty hard to turn it. But other than that, that's, that's so cool. Wow, okay. That's an, my, my favorite so far. Then here we have a 2x2 two two Mega Mix. With only corners, Mega Mix. Okay. Okay, next up we have a custom built, I think this is his self made barrel, 3x3. Two, three three. So, it turns actually fairly normal. <laughs> then here we have a 3x3x4 three by three by and yeah he couldn't solve it as well <laughs> but somebody has tried to make a cross here okay well 3x3x4 three by three by right here okay next up we have a Siamese mirrors block cube and it looks like, okay, <laughs> it's red and he didn't know how to solve it. And this looks like a star cube. <laughs> it looks like a star. And it is a star. Oh wow, look at it. That is so cool. There's the orange side, there's the blue side, there's the red and the green, white and yellow. And it turns actually fairly normal for a mod. <laughs> Cool. And then here we have a diamond cube. I think this is a six sided, no, one, two, three, four, five, six sided diamond cube. And yeah, this corner is kind of rotated, so I don't like that. Uh, but as you can see, it is just a three by three, but it's a shape mod. <sighs> then here we have a two, a ghost cube, two by two. And wow, that is. That is so cool, look at it. That's a cool cube. One of my favorites right now from this yeah, unboxing. Okay, the next up we have a Veylon GTS. Very used Veylon GTS. As you can see, it is very used. <laughs> the stickers are coming off, but it turns actually so good. What? This could be a main, although it's it's fairly loose right now, uh, but you can just tighten it up anytime you want. But oh, PLL skip on camera on in unboxing. But this is a GTS. Yeah. Then here we have a gear ball. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's not solved. It is not solved, but it's very cool. As you can see, it, it turns like that, and it turns like that, and it turns like that. Okay, here we have the last cube of the unboxing, and it's a 6x6. Six six. Not solved, but it's, it's it feels like a Shengshou 6x6. Six six. And I think it is a Shengshou 6x6. Six six. And uh, it turns normal. There's only one more box in the box. <laughs> yeah, so let's take it out right here. Oh, don't want to do that. And let's put away the box and let's unbox another box. And so this is of the and take his mains. And okay. Let's see what's inside. There's some some of the racket. Oh yeah. 
Oh, there is a walk. Look at that. There is actually a walk in there. Okay, let's take out the plastic. And okay, let's start with with this cube because it looks long. I think it's very used. Oh, actually, if you move it, it turns pretty normal. Uh, let's start with the, with this one, and this is a Yoohoo Megaminx. Yoohoo! Okay. Wow, it's actually really good. Please don't say I, I just mixed it up. Oh crap, I just mixed it up. So, then there is one more cube and it is a Megamix. And, oh wow, it's actually pretty good. It's a 5x5 five five and... Okay. Wow, it's actually, whoa. It turns good. And I know I haven't I haven't competed in a competition with 5x5, five five, but this 5x5 five five is actually pretty good. Here we have 4x4 four four and this, oh, oh okay, it doesn't it doesn't corner cut a lot as you can see. Um, okay, then let's open the Valk. Okay, so let's open the Valk right now and I'm, rec I'm recording on the GoPro right now because, uh, yeah, the battery ran out on the, on the camera. But it's, oh, look at the stickers. They're so used. And, oh, yeah, this is going to be my new main. This is, all, this is going to be my new main. Actually, guys, this is my main. Okay, I'm, uh, this is the last cube on this unboxing. And it's a... Waypo Cyan and this is my main 2x2 as you can see it turns pretty good corner cut 45 easily and reverse is also very good and okay I'm going to do I'm going to tell you one thing so here's the thing that, that I want to tell you this was a fake unboxing <laughs> uh, yeah clickbait OP too much uh, views 24 seconds. Just kidding. So this was a fake unboxing because this was not an unboxing. This was a I don't know collection My collection video because these all the cubes that I just unboxed were my mains not mains But all my cubes as you can see there's over like 40 cubes in this in my house and Yeah I just wanted to make a video different than my collection video uh, because I don't know why uh, but other than that I hope you all enjoyed this my collection video and I have over 40 cubes 45 I, I think like 40 um, but other than that I will see you all next time